Hey guys, this is Matt with WeekendJeep.com. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, put some trailer brakes on your trailer. If you don't have trailer brakes, they're a good thing to have. And uh, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you've got a mounting bracket back here. And uh, if so, then you'll want to buy your brakes. You can get them for about $200 per axle. Uh, what you'll get is a big drum like this. And you'll get a set of these. These are the brakes. And uh, basically they just mount on here. And we'll show you how to do that. To do this job you'll need the, the brakes, of course, the mounting hardware. You'll definitely need a new seal. If you're going to replace your bearings, you can go ahead and get a kit. Uh, which has the, this has two bearings, the, both of the races, the cotter pin, and the seal here. That's uh, $16.95, and that part number is BK2-100. You can get that from your uh, trailer parts store, or online, I guess. Uh, you also need a rubber mallet, and a few other tools there. 11 16 wrench, a pair of wire cutters, and a, a wrench. Maybe a few other things I forgot to mention. And you're also going to want to make sure you've got the you've got this bracket here. Let me show you that a little bit closer. This is the mounting bracket on the behind your hub, and you'll need that to be able to mount your brakes. If you don't have that, uh, you'll have to have a new axle or weld up something. But uh, pretty much, if you don't have that, you're out of luck. Okay, so the first thing you'll want to do is take the grease cover off. I've already done it on the other side, so I'm going to show you how to do it here. Basically, you just whack it back and forth until it pops off. Like that. And then you've got your nut there. We'll take that off here in a sec. Alright, this nut shouldn't be tight, so all we're going to do is take the cotter pin out. Right there. And then you're going to loosen that nut. There's going to be a washer right behind the nut. So make sure you don't lose that. And then your bearing is going to be behind that. There's two bearings inside here. So just pull everything off together. And then I'll show you how to get the, the seal out. Okay, now that you've got the hub off, uh, flip it over and basically what you've got is um, you've got a bearing down in here that you need to get out, um, but the seal is in the way. So, somehow or another you have to get that seal out, um, and then you'll find your bearing inside here that you'll need to reuse unless you buy new bearings. And to get that out, you can either pry it out, try and hammer it out, or I, th I find it easiest just to use a press and press it out. Um, so let's take it over to the press and do that now. Alright, so put the hub in your press and take you a socket that'll fit down in there and just rest on the bearing and stick that down in there and then what you're going to do is just press it out. Make sure you get that lined up in the center there. Put your hand dirt here at the bottom. And there it is. There's your seal. And here's your bearing. Right inside here. Alright, so this is the electric brake. Um, comes pre-assembled. And the way you can tell which way this goes on is um, there's several different ways but um, the magnet's always going to be at the bottom this little C thing always points towards the front of the trailer and the wire sticking out always sticks out of the back so you're just going to slide that on like so there you go and then you take your hardware 
and you put the nuts and the washers on the back and tighten that down with your 11 16 inch wrench. Okay, now that we've got that bolted on there, we're ready to uh, move on to the next step. Okay, I apologize, it's uh, raining, so I changed to a different mic. Hopefully you guys can hear me better now. What you're going to do now is take your drum and flip it over. There we go. And basically your bearing, your larger bearing, is going to sit down on the inside of this drum here. And then your seal is going to go with the um, spring side in, just like this. But first, we're going to take and uh, put some grease on this bearing. Okay, so to pack a wheel bearing, what you want to do is take the larger side of the wheel bearing, and that's going to go face down. Put some uh, grease into the palm of your hand, and just whack it on your hand here until the grease starts coming out through this top opening here. When you see it start squeezing out through the bearings there, you know you've got enough. And just continue to work your way around until you see it all coming out. Just like that. Okay. Put this in here. Make sure your race is in there too. The race came pre-installed on my hubs, but uh, it's possible that the race might not be in there, in which case you'd have to press the race in with the press. And basically a race is just this. It's what the bearing sits in. It would go inside before the bearing, and the bearing sits in there and rides on that race. Okay. So now you've got your uh, everything lined up like you want it. This is the tricky part. You got to be real gentle with this because the seal um, could bend. So you want to take your little block of wood, put it right there, and take your rubber mallet and just work it in there. Just keep going around. Gonna do that until everything is flush. Now you can flip it over, and basically uh, you're ready to put it on to the spindle. Your other uh, bearing is gonna go right here, and then the washer, and then the nut. Okay, so now that we've got that bolted on, you're gonna take your hub that you've already put the bearings in the back of. You can slide that on, like so, and then you're going to take the smaller bearing, put some grease on it, and that's going to go in just like this to fit on the race, and then you've got the washer. And then the castle nut, with the castle sticking out to the outside, of course. Now you're just going to tighten this down. Make sure that you find that hole before you put this on so you know where the cotter pin is going to go. I think I saw it right on the top there. And wipe my hands here. What you're going to do is tighten that down until it stops and then back it off of here because you want this to be able to turn. If you tighten it down too tight, it's not going to be able to turn. So that's tight there. Just back it off a little bit where it has free range and then get your cotter pin. And the cotter pin's just going to drop down through. There it is. 
And this is where your pliers come in handy. You just take the bottom and bend it up. Perfect. Okay, now you're ready to put your uh, bearing protector back on. It's got a little grease zerk fitting on the end. You want to fill it up with grease. So you just put that right there. I like to use a block on mine. Just pound it in real good. And then you'll want to fill it up with grease before you take off. Okay, now you want to come around to the back side of your brakes. And you want to take out these little plastic plugs in the back. And inside there you'll find a little gear. And you want to put a screwdriver in there. And sometimes you turn up, sometimes you turn down. But uh, this one you're going to stick your screwdriver in and pull up. And that's going to tighten the brakes. What you want to do is get them tight so that they they start grabbing and then you want to back off just a little bit. Actually I think I got that backwards. I think I'm going to stick it in and turn it down. That's always the confusing part. There we go. Alright, so that's just barely grabbing and that's perfect. Now just put your little plastic plugs back on. There's one. And two. There we go. And that's it. You're ready to go besides wiring it up. And that'll be a whole new video. So Maybe we'll get to that in the future. Hey guys, this is Matt with bleepinjeep.com. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe right here. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those. Um, also, while you're at it, check out bleepinjeep.com. It's got your favorite off-road videos. I think you'll like it.